It's been over two years since the map Encrypted was released, and ever since the map came out, people have known that this map was sitting on perhaps the biggest secret in the game. And finally, after countless hours put in by me and a group of enthusiastic easter egg hunters, we have finally solved it. This easter egg is by far the most well-hidden and complex ninja key we have ever made, and to be honest, it was probably a bit too hard. Here is how all the dots were connected. We started by looking very carefully at the map itself to not miss any details. The name of the map is encrypted, and encryption is the process of converting information into something unreadable unless you have the key to reverse the encryption process. As many have guessed in the past, the key has something to do with placing towers on these platforms. The four platforms represent the four different tower categories, primary, military, magic and support, and only the represented category can be placed on that platform. But what towers needs to be placed and with which upgrades and in which order, and do we need to complete any steps after that? We started by trying to figure out what the code of towers may be by analyzing the map. The map has a total of 29 candles, and also several graves on each side, three of which, on each side, can be interacted with by double-clicking on them. The graves filled with water causes a fish skeleton to jump in the water, and the other graves causes a zombie hand to reach up from the grave. And also there's a statue that many say looked like a Dora or Quincy, except the statue has wings and one of which has been broken off. At first we tried clicking the different graves in all kinds of combinations, but to no avail. And then we realized that there were 21 candles inside the altar-like structure, and that this map was released in update 21. So we started looking closer at the number of candles and their placements. 5 candles on the left, 21 in the middle, and 3 on the right. 5, 2, 1, 3. These numbers are hints as to what tiers the towers needs to be. The military platform with the military rank symbol on it needs to have the tier 5 sub commander, and the magic platform with the wand on it needs to have the tier 3 of the top path upgrade of the wizard, and the platform with the two cogwheels on it should have the first upgrade of the middle path of the spike factory, and lastly the primary platform with the dart icon should have the tier 2 middle path of the dart monkey. But just placing the towers on the platforms does nothing. We also need to sacrifice them all by the altar, but not sacrifice them to the Sun Temple, but sacrifice them to Adora, who also needs to be placed in the center. But before we place her, take note of the banana symbol right here in the center. That will be a hint to a crucial detail in the last step of the easter egg. So we place Adora in the center and use the blood sacrifice ability four times to sacrifice all four towers. Once that is done, the map will start to change colors, and now you can perform the final step which involves a true sun god sacrifice. Adora needs to be transformed on the platform, so she needs to be level 20, and we need to build a sun temple outside the altar and give it enough range to cover Adora. Now, there's just one final thing that needs to be done before transforming Adora, and that is to place a banana sacrifice on the center of the altar. Of course, a banana farm doesn't fit, which confused a lot of people trying to find the secret of this map. What you need is a support center hovering right over the edge of the magic platform. And then, when you use the ability, it will drop a cash crate on the platform. The ability can only be used mid-round, so use it at the end of a round and then complete the sacrifice to unlock the secret underground part of the map. Or so I hoped. Apparently there is no easter egg, despite everything suggesting that there should be. Seriously, Ninja Kiwi has said that there currently is no secret on this map, but they may add one in the future. I think it would be really cool if we had a super complex easter egg like this one I made up, and also that it would give a useful reward. For example, perhaps the platform rises up and allows every tower on the platforms to see over the walls and also get some nice buffs. But what kind of easter eggs would you like to see added to this map or future maps? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.